Hello, my YouTube friends. Dave Wilson here. Um, got a lot done. I'm real happy with this. Got my extra slide working uh, with the Omnidrop uh, Quick Change Mount. Um, took over a week to get everything put together and working on this. But um, so far, I'm really happy with it. The movement seems really nice. And what I do like versus uh, my linear rails is that the belts travel parallel to the gantries. Uh, that was always a problem with the linear rails that the, the belts have an angle to them. Uh, Chris Percy pointed this out that it could affect the uh, precision from one end to the other. And I've seen a small, about one tenth to one percent, maybe a little bit more uh, change in size from the corners. So we'll see how this works, but so far the movement's very well, uh, very smooth and uh, been real happy. And the quick change mount, I can take this end off and put it on one of the other printers. Uh, it takes about a minute and a half, two minutes to change the whole hot end assembly. And the other thing I like about both these is that Easy Able stays with the mount. Uh, with the quick change on the printer, so it does not move with the hot end. Uh, right now I'm printing some, uh, something I saw on, on Thingiverse today. It's a, uh, 5015 fan adapter for the Omnidrop. So that these fans can be replaced with a uh, 5015 fan. So I don't have any right now. I've got some on order. They'll be here tomorrow, but I'll give that a test. And this is a linear rail model with the quick change. And it's doing pretty well. Um, I've had no problems on doing a test here just for the heck of it. I'm trying to print some Omnidrop main bodies with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which is probably sacrilegious. But the two 0.25 um, millimeter nozzles I have, they're just they're clogged up. I can't get them to work. So I'm just doing this for the heck of it, see what happens. And um, here's my quick change mounts for the Omnidrops. So this part will just drop in. And what I have is then plugs for the hot end, uh, the heater, the thermistor, the fans, and the uh, extruder motor. So these are all, I'm trying to set them all, all the same. I'm still working on the wiring links. And then I did a little uh, silicone on some of these to keep it protect a little bit better. But here's what that fan model looked like. And this is a... Uh, uh, linear rail adapter for uh, this printer right here. I have not converted that one yet. But um, the other thing I came up with is a way to hold the, the cables. Um, I, I had a lot of trouble with the cables drooping, especially on the Ender 5 Plus. So I did, I, I had been using um, Bowden tubing, but it's just not stiff enough. Then I came across some 16 gauge wire um, that <laughs> 250 feet of it for like six dollars on Amazon, but it slides right inside the Bowden tube and really makes a nice stiff uh, cable uh, just to support the others. And I got these Bowden adapters, uh, ten of those on Amazon for about seven dollars. So what I'm going to do is put those on both ends of the cable. So right now I've got you can see it on this one. The other one's just uh, cable tied to this end, but. It really makes a nice arch, and I was going to use some uh, drag chains or cable chains, but I think this actually works better, um, both in XY movement um, arrangement. But I'm really happy with that so far, and you can see how these cables are set up, so I can just uh, swap them very quickly. Another thing I've gotten is a whole lot of brass inserts. So. I've gotten some of these earlier video, but um, I really like these. And they're sort of hard to find, especially really good ones. So uh, I put a link uh, where I've got some of these at. But So on this, I'm using one right back here to uh, attach that with. And on these, I'm using them to attach the um, hot end. But I like them because they take the place of a nut and they're really a lot stronger. Um, but um, that's about all I've got going on. Oh, I've got a puppy here that's getting a little... I think it's time for dinner. <laughs> Is it time for dinner, Lou? <laughs> but um, just wanted to show you real quickly how this works. So, 
to mount this and just drop it in and it locks in place and then it becomes like one piece. So that's why I like this and then it changed the whole hot end. Uh oh, I'm going to strangle myself. That's why I never do the camera shots. But to put a hot end in, I just drop it in there. And that's all I got to do to change it. So I hope you enjoy this and please leave any comments or questions.